White maned Lionel, which we're not going to be facing just yet. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we had a... Wolves, really? We had a veritable to-do list of, of things to go through, and we got them all knocked out, except for one. And that's what we're doing right now. Apparently, we are standing almost directly underneath of the final shrine of the Faron region. And so before we tackle that Lionel and capture the giant horse, we are going to be climbing this mountain instead with our awesome climbing gear and collecting that shrine. And also, it looks like we're going to be discovering a new plant. I don't remember this plant. So what is this? Oh, it's swift violet grows on the sides of mountains? Okay. I'll take your word for it, game. So I, off screen, or I guess in the end slate of last video, I cooked up a bunch of stamina restoring foods, and as well as some foods that increase my maximum st stamina, and also I could probably, thinking about it now, I could probably go and sleep somewhere to restore stamina, but I don't think that's needed. Also there are a bunch of rock quarries over there which I may have to check out, because that looks, those look important. Those look like there's some treasure behind them, so I'll probably have to check that out. And then ultimately, we're going to be heading out of the Faron region, since there's nothing else. There are no other loose ends, loose ends I can think of that I need to tie up. I mean, there's one shrine around. There's one shrine left in the the Elden region, and I've I've picked up its reading once or twice, but I can never find the thing. I try to try to find it off screen, and I can never find it. So I'm guessing based on, in fact. Let me, let me just zoom in here. These are the shrines I have. So if you've played the game longer than I have, since most people have, uh, pause the game right there. Take a snapshot and then tell me what I'm missing. Okay, what is up here? Just a Korok, I presume? A memory? Nothing? Looks like nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I was, I was just going to say, this looks sort of like a stone talus. It's a stone talus. One we've never seen before. In fact, wait a minute, what is it called? Stone Talus, a luminous. Mmm, the luminous Stone Talus. Let's get a picture of that and avoid his attack. Thankfully, it looks just like every other Stone Talus in the game. So let's climb up and hit this thing and throw it. Nice. Uh, that should put him to the ground. Let's take out our Lionel Sword since that thing is actually kind of bad. Cut him up! Cut him up! The climbing gear was actually was a pretty good choice. Whoa! That there goes my gem. That thing. Oh wait, no, it's right there. Awesome. Okay, get ready for this. I did not mean to do that. I didn't think that his attack would go off. That's fine. We'll just climb up him when he tries to get a new boulder, like that. That missed. Can you do it again? I'm up. I'm not up. He launched me off. Awesome. Get my opal. Freeze him. Climb. Climb. Oh, man. Let's just shoot him. Let's just shoot him down. That was... Okay, that was enough to stun him. These things are pushovers. And he is... Dead. Come on. He's so close. Uh, just a normal sword, I guess. Just normal this. Dead. Nice. We discovered a new enemy. I'm happy with this. Gives us a ton of gems and luminous stones. And if you'll remember, I now have the ability to trade in 10 luminous stones for diamonds. So looking at my luminous stone count, that's actually two diamonds, which I can use, which is quite beneficial to me. All right, so I've been told, and this is scarily accurate, that the shrine that I'm looking for is on an outlook that looks like a whoopee cushion. And looking at this, that's a whoopee cushion. So that's our that's our shrine. Th props to the commenter who pointed that out. I, I've been putting comments on screen, so I don't really need to give him a shout out. Or her. But props to them for a very apt description. Because whoopee cushion rock. Or no, whoopee cushion outlook? The cr whoopee, whoopee cushion crag. I like that better. Whoopee cushion crag is... is very much a whoopee cushion. Everyone loves a whoopee cushion crag. That's it's a a very crude crag as far as crags go, but 
It's it's functional, has a good name. And our shrine's just sitting right there. No, no. Work required, although. Looks like there's some people over here. Yeah. Hey. Are you okay? Are you sleeping? Needs more salt. No, too much salt. You know, I might I might sleep here and wait, examine. Grumble grumble, better not be touching my cooking pot. This is weird. I'm not sure what this is about. There... She wants salt, but we can't interact with this. I've tried throwing salt in there. And I've tried lighting it up, so I don't know. Let's complete the shrine first. Maybe that will do something. I doubt it, but maybe. You never know. It's in the middle of a giant ashen pile of limbs. This That's creepy. Let's complete the shrine and see what it's all about. Bravery's Grasp. Ishto Sho Shrine. Bravery's Grasp. So there's a chest, first of all. And a moving platform, just on the ground. And a switch. I presume... Wait. Oh. That's... Weird. Can I just jump over this? I cannot jump over that. Uh, but it looks like I might be able to stasis through this. Yeah. I mean, stasis that. And get a chest, which has in it... A topaz. But that's not what we're here for. Let's go, let's go around this way. Because it looks like, in fact... Let's shoot that. Yeah, it looks like this is a... A bit of a, a puzzle. I mean, <laughs> duh, it's a puzzle, but y you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, we did this. Now what? Maybe, you know, okay, I, I have a solution. So, I shoot this. I can't blow up both bombs next to it. Because, because they both detonate. But instead, what I might be able to do, and this is possibly short-sighted, but just bear with me. Just place this one here, and then place this one here, uh, a little bit closer. Let's place this one here. So then we jump onto this platform. Actually, do that. That's that's even better. And then we have this one equipped. Raise that one up. Switch over. Raise this one up. And then. You might think that I'm beaten. No, I'm not. That, maybe I am. Uh, I, I think this is the solution. Throw it over. Is it just high enough? I think it is just high enough. So I can, f I can fly onto this, which means actually I, I can get the chest. That's easy. I didn't actually think I could fly up there. So I have the chest. Th that's an... That's a really easy solution to, to get that. So, I have an ancient core. Actually, pretty rare. But then, I have this weird... This weird conundrum. Where I need two bombs on this. And I have this... Odd platform, which doesn't do anything. Pick up. Oh, I can pick up the laser. Also, that is awesome. That's so cool. That's what it is. What, what, what even was this this shrine called? Like, br grasp bravery or whatever? That's what I need to do. That's so simple. That's why the platform's there. I need to grab the laser, and this is, this is solved. It's done. I just have to take a casual stroll up this, and I'm done. Well, good on you, game, for teaching me th ways to interact with with your your infrastructure. 60, 70 episodes in? 71 episodes in? I'm still learning things. That is, that is awesome. What? Hello, you are up and about. What are you doing? Huh? Who are you? Who are you, is the better question. Me, my name is Moza. I'm just trying, I'm trying to perfect my perfect dish, so I'm training in isolation right now. Your smoke signal? Mm -hmm. Smoke signal? I mean this smoke? 
This is not a smoke signal. As you can plainly see, I am in the middle of cooking. It's burning. B badly. I'm burning it? So then, you're saying I've messed it up. I see. <sighs> For some reason, no matter how, how hard I try to cook something wonderful, it always turns out badly. I thought up this ultimate recipe myself, too. Why is this happening? Teach me a recipe. Ah. Oh, I would love to. I don't mind at all. I'm sure you'll be able to cook something really tasty. I mean, probably. I have recipes for, lavish, for a lavish meat dish, an ancient meat dish, and an ultimate survival dish. Which will you learn? Let's do... Okay, if we only get one choice, the ancient meat dish sounds the, like I need ancient parts, which is amazing. If I can eat gears, I will happily do so. <laughs> Sure thing, I'll happily teach you the recipe for my ancient meat dish. First, prepare, you prepare the meat you want to use. I re recommend either bird meat or steak. And then you'll cook it with something from a broken guardian. Oh, this Ooh. sounds cool. An ancient part. That sounds gross. Hey, that's not nice. Cooking delicious meat with something that smacks of history is the only way. Who, how else would one create an ancient meat dish with the likes, with, uh, the likes of which no one has ever seen before? To be honest, I always end up with making dubious food. Though I don't see what's so dubious about it. Even when I use ingredients I'm certain will be perfect, there are lots of times I still mess it up. Cooking is complicated. Do you want to hear another recipe? Give me a lavish one. Sure thing, I'll happily teach you f the recipe for my lavish meat dish. First, prepare the meat you want to use. I recommend either bird or steak. Then you toss in some nice, fresh ore. That sounds gross. Hey, that's not nice. Cooking delicious meat is with shiny ore is the only way. How else would so would one create a truly lavish meat dish, silly? To be honest, I what I always end up making is rock hard food. How do I how to even get that rocky anyway? Even when I use gr ingredients, I'm sure it will be perfect. There are times I still mess it up. Cooking is complicated. What's the last one? <laughs> sure thing. I'll happily teach you the recipe for my ultimate survival dish. First, you have to defeat a monster. After that, you just find yourself a cooking pot and toss in tons of monster parts. That sounds really gross. <laughs> In order to survive out in the wild, you've got to be willing to eat anything. That's the idea behind my ultimate survival dish. I may end up with nothing to eat but dubious food, but I won't achieve my goal unless I make some sacrifices. I don't see what's so dubious about using monster parts, though. Even when I use ingredients, I'm certain it'll be perfect. There are lots of times I still mess it up. Cooking is complicated. I've heard all of them. They sound cool, but... This doesn't appear to be a, a quest. Unless I'm wrong, and of course, I can. I am perfectly fine with being yelled at in the comments. Okay, so that is Whoopi Cushion Crag, and that is a sizable chunk of this episode already. Let's get to the giant horse. 4,000 HP. That's, you know, that's a sizable amount of HP. I have, you know, some hearts myself. And then, like a monster from the sky, we land on him. Take out our master sword. Stabby stab. This thing does damage. Nice. And let's take out our savage land elbow. Is that the best we have? Savage. Yes. Mighty. Mighty or savage. Savage. And some shock arrows. Let's hit this guy with death and die. Uh, let's also eat this. That still hits me, okay, but only for a quarter heart. Wow, he's doing this attack from the get-go? Really? I, I get hit by that every time. I used to not be bad, and I used to not get hit by that. Okay, landing on him. Maybe not. Drop the Mighty Lennell shield by something that did not actually hit me. Uh, let's take out our food and eat this. Get a Flurry Rush, take out our Master Sword. These guys are very simple. I mean, what is a Lionel will, you know, what attacks a Lionel has will always be able to be dodged, no matter how high level he is. I knocked him down, shot him in the mouth. How does electricity taste? Is it lightning-y? I hope it's lightning-y. He's already down to half HP. This guy's the one guarding the, the giant horse. Ah, oh, that still hits me. I'm guessing there's no way to dodge that. Okay, he's gonna shoot that, shoot that. I'm not gonna get hit this time. Instead, I'm gonna fly up. And mount him. Or surf him. That works too. I almost mounted him. And did not get the flurry rush. That is fine. Can't mount him. He 
yells as he powers up. Oh! I need Jurg's protection. I can see that coming. Enable. Blocked it. Let's keep wailing on him. He's almost dead. Down to triple digit HP. Let's fly up. Woo! That was the coolest thing ever. Bring out my bow. Shoot him back, back of the head. Shoot him back ahead. Reserve some stamina. Run. And shoot him. I'm not going to kill him with that, though. Mount? Yes. That is how I want to kill Lionel. And he's dead. We get the slow-mo kill. Look at that beautiful face. Look at that beautiful face. So, now that we've killed this Lionel, I would like to share something I noticed about them. And their attack pattern. I noticed this in post from the last recording. And it kind of blew my mind. His attack pattern is very, very similar to that of Demise from Skyward Sword. Look at their three swings. If I can maybe even show it on screen, that'd be cool. They they very closely mirror Demise's. He has an electric attack, which he shoots into the sky. It's pretty close to Demise. And their face, even. The, the mane of hair. That's Demise. Do I have to kill you? I really don't want to. I really don't like killing predators. Even in real life, I don't like killing predators. It just feels wrong. Okay, so Giant Horse is why we actually came here. Giant Horse, not the Lionel. We can fight Lionels any day of the week. But Giant Horses are a bit different. So, on the approach, let's eat low level. Do I have any mid level? Mid level. Okay. Mid level stealth. Let's look for this giant horse. Let's look for this giant horse. I don't see any horses right now, but... I'm I'm actually kind of expecting a cutscene to usher in this horse, because... It's one of a kind, right? It's a one of a kind horse. One of a kind horse in a very arid... Dry grassland. Don't see him yet. I can also climb these trees to evade sight and maybe fly in on him, possibly. Oh, is that him? Or is that a Lionel? Oh, those are horses. And one of them is very clearly bigger than the rest. Wow. That is a giant horse, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's take a picture of that giant horse because I... I'm a photographer now. No. Giant horse. You bet you bet your sweet mom who bakes delicious cookies it is a giant horse. Makes all those other ones look like ponies. I okay, need to make sure that there are no tricks to this. Because I, I believe I only get one shot. I only get... Ooh, don't run. Please don't run. I only get one shot at catching this giant horse. So I don't want to waste it. Now, off screen, I have developed a strategy to catching horses. I don't think I'm going to employ it here because it's risky. It involves <laughs> it involves me shooting the horse with a uh, shock arrow. and Or just a normal arrow. That works too. I can't stasis horses, right? Okay. I cannot stasis horses. You know, I could fly in on this guy. That can work, uh, be but before I do, I should probably save. That's, that's the ticket. That's an updraft. Alright, getting ready. Not gonna be enough. Mount! Cajole this horse! Cajole this horse! I do have stamina food. Let's use it now. I have one shot where, uh, I can use this. Oh, it restores and overfills. I could use that. Let's just try this. No. Let's try this. Yes. No. This one. Yeah. I got him. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. I have a giant horse. He is... Look at that red hair. I wonder if that's 
that's a thing. I wonder if these horses are tiny. I wonder if the the game generates different giant horses. Okay, let's let's pet this guy. Now I cannot. I don't have spurs for him. I do not have spurs. Instead, don't run yourself in the wall. Instead, he just runs very fast. I don't think it's quite as fast as a normal horse's gallop because he's so big, but it's faster than their canter, which means which means on average he's faster. So I have a giant horse. Uh that is that that makes me feel really happy. So where do I take this giant horse? Because I need to be able to register him. Do I have to go all the way down to Highland Stable? I think I might. Instead, I could just ride out this road and maybe there's a, a stable on the other side. But I think I might have to go all the way back. All the way back to the beginning of, of this area, to Highland Stable. Now, this area is also great. It's one of the best for getting horses in general. They, they're much better than your average horse. So it's also going to be where I get my great plateau. It's also going to be where I get my my final horse of the game, which means I'm probably going to be getting that this episode as well. But for now, we have a giant horse, and I might even just use him normally. Alternatively, I, sh I should probably go to those people. Those people that were... I can't go down here. Yeah, I can't go down here. There are some people across near the ridge. I could go talk to them. Well, awesome, I have a giant horse. Let's go register this thing, and then I can continue with the episode. Sup? Were you looking for this guy? Because he's mine. That horse. It's huge. Also, that Bachblin's kind of gawking right now. I've never seen one that big. That is definitely an endemic species, or endemic? Sorry, but can I take a good look at that horse? Why not? Thanks, I'll be right back. Just, you know, don't steal it. Hmm, this is impressive. Ah, hmm, quite interesting. Why is the screen black? Wow, with this much info, I can feel my spirit for discovery murmuring in contentment. It's it's definitely different, seeing something with your own eyes rather than just reading about it. Ooh. Thank you. This is to thank you for helping with our investigation. <coughs> to think that there is actually a horse this big out there. How surprising. Ha. And that's it. Ha. Hunt for the giant horse. Now... Ha. 200 rupees or 100 rupees seems like a small reward for getting something for getting a horse but we also got a horse and it's it's a good horse it's a it's a good one he's a he's a good boy and yes it is a boy i've had quite a few female horses thus far wait have i had any female horses thus far i just realized i mean i i know there's no difference between them but in my own personal headcanon that you know doesn't actually matter. Uh, let's see. Heart was male. Sif was male. Shot. I don't think I ever really ca cared about what what he was. So I guess I've only had. Licorice was female, I think, maybe. And Applejack was male. So they're all male, I guess. All my horses are male, but that you know that that's fine. That's fine. I I was like, man, we've never had a female horse before, or uh, a male horse before. But yes, we all of them have been. Okay, so let's register this baby. He's taken a couple of hits from from Bacoblins, but I'm pretty sure his health is as big as his stature, so even if he was a normal horse, that wouldn't have hurt him, so we now have a giant horse. Hello! Stop, horse, please! Let's register this baby. Hello. How do you like my horse? He is a horse. You. You. Looks like you caught yourself a new steed. Do you want to register it? Yes, please. Gotcha. You sure this is the one? Uh, no, I'm not sure at all. Of strength of five, speed of two, wild temperament. What am I gonna call him? We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. No special dialogue? That's sad. Also, if I hadn't gotten that 100 rupees, I wouldn't have been able to register the horse. Just saying. Please enter a name for your horse. Oh, goodness. What is this name going to be? Oh. Are you sure you want to name this horse Camel? <laughs> yes, actually. I got him in the desert. I, I've thought I weighed Coom as one of the names. I thought of um, Bessie because 
it he, he's huge. I've thought about cow, but camel I I like. It, it's it's strangely endearing. So, camel it is. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? Yes, please. Uh -huh. I'll take Camel with me. We'll take Hart into our care. And so now we have Camel. He is... He is a good horse. So, the, with the rest of this episode, it's a bit weird, but... There are a couple things I'd like to do. The first one is to upgrade our gear. And this one is, is something I'm going to be cutting around a lot for, but I think it's due. I, I want to see what two stars on our gear looks like. So, that's going to be the first thing. The second thing is, I would like to capture a horse. Not just any horse, I want to capture the horse. The horse which we will be using for the rest of the game. I mean, Camel will be a mainstay. I'm going to be using him uh, about as much as I do Sif, unless I get, you know, my better horse. But, he and the new horse which I'm going to get are going to be mainstays of the series and for the rest of the series. Maybe I'll switch them around every now and then, take out hearts for old time's sake, but I, I do want a final and amazing horse to be our partner for the rest of the game. But first, equipment. Oh, hello. Find him. Carry my thoughts to him. Hmm? Do you have a wish for the Water Fairy too? Oh, I suppose not. If you did, you'd have a letter to send. But wait, does that mean you're a servant of the Water Fairy? Uh, the, yes, that's me. That can't possibly be so. Please don't make fun of me just because I'm a cute girl. If you're a traveler, that's lucky for me. Oh, wow, if that's the case, I have an important request for you. Once I release it, I'd like you to follow my love letter and get to know whoever picks it up. Once you do that, please report back to me so I can find out what kind of person he is. I know, I know. You're probably thinking, why not just go yourself, lazy girl? I'm right, aren't I? The thing is, I promised my mother I wouldn't venture out too far. I'm begging you, please, find the person who picks this letter, okay? <laughs> Tee, thank you. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to throw it, it in now. Ready? Yes. The letter contain, the containers break easily, so please, please be careful. Well, we're doing a quest. Neat. Not what I intended, but okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'd need to clear the way. Uh, bomb arrows. Uh, that's not a bomb arrow. There. Go, little container. You can do it. I believe in you. Can I stasis it? I can. That's good to know. All the fish. There's the last bass. There's no one over here. There is someone over here. Oh. Get off. You're not ruining this for me. You know what? You know what? He's not ruining this for me. Nope. You're not ruining this for me. Waste two ancient arrows for it. But no. No, that's not happening. It was a close one. But complete the quest, please. He's not gonna. Oh no. Oh wait, wait. Is this good, or did I? Was I not supposed to be close? Sorry for the random question, but you you ever been to Zora's domain? Mm. Yes, I have. I see. Is it far from here? Uh, it's it's a long ways. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot oh. to introduce myself. I'm Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zora's domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The writer seems to be a lovely Zora, lovely Zora named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zora's domain. So, were, you were following this letter. Mm. Yes. Hmm, so she asked you to come down here and see what kind of person I am. Is that it? Well, earlier I lied when I wrote to her uh, that I was a buff traveler. She said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I can't do it. I've really blown it. If I had known this would happen, I, that I'd fall for her, I never would have lied. I never would have lied. Love reigns supreme? She's a child, but, but uh, this is Zelda also? <laughs> Love reigns supreme. Hmm, I suppose it does. You know, hearing that does make me feel a bit better. Okay, I think it's time for me to take a chance and try to meet her. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if the torrential rain has stopped. She's waiting in Zora's domain. That's what the, her letter says anyways. So I'll achieve two goals at the same time and train up my muscles on the way there. I'll get super beefy. Yeah, that's the ticket. I'll, I'll run all the way to the domain. Catch you later. 
We'll meet again at Zora's Domain, I'm sure of it. And we also have completed our quest, so let's meet him back in Zora's Domain. It all comes down to this. Here he is. Is he actually beefy? He doesn't look beefy. Oh, it's you. Hey, Sasan. This is the guy who made sure my letter reached you safely. Oh, it's you. As you can see, I somehow made it to Zora's Domain. Thanks to you, I managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley. At least, that's how I see it. Thank you so much for introducing me to my soulmate. Sasan and I discussed it, and we decided we just had to thank you the next time we saw you. So here, this is from the both of us. Thank you for everything. A gold rupee? Wow. Sasan, be sure to swim, uh, swim and climb and lift and stuff a lot. That will help you build up those muscles you promised me. As you wish, my darling. I'll try my best. Uh... How old is this woman? I mean, I, I know that... That Zoras are older than people, or they last longer, you know. But... But... I don't know. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Good night. Okay. That... Okay. That's weird. But, you know what? It's Zelda. It's supposed to be weird. And just like that guy is going to call it a night, I think I'm going to call this an episode. We set out to acquire the resources to upgrade my gear, and I didn't expect that there would be a quest along the way, so we still got something done, even if it wasn't our original goal. And starting next episode, we can upgrade the armor, the Flamebreaker armor, the Zora armor, the climbing gear. We can upgrade all of that, and then we can move into the new area with two-star gear and a lot of defense and a lot of cool perks, which I'm excited to see. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't or if there is something that you would like to see me cover in Breath of the Wild, next episode, type it in the comments. Maybe you wanted me to take out a cool camp or find a specific shrine. Type it in the comments. I will go there. I'll put it on the list, and I will cover it at some point. All right. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and join me next time where we upgrade some gear and explore a new area. See you guys then. Come on. I'm on break. What is it? And you are Grayson. I don't like repeating myself, though, so just remember that, okay? I'm a digger here, as you can see. I dig it. I dig and I dig. Day in and day out. To be honest, I'm sick of it. I feel like maybe I'm not meant to toil away in obscurity like this. Is there a job out there for me that let me use my strength to make a difference? There is. Huh? There is? Where? Tell me more. Terrytown. Terrytown? I've never heard of it. What's the deal with that place? It's a place you can go.